is Dave at the Shepherd School, and what we're going to do today is make hamburger rocks. Hamburger rocks is just dehydrated, uh, pre-cooked ground beef that you can put in mason jars under vacuum or vacuum pack or whatever. And what it does is it allows you to um, store your ground beef. It works really good in anything like lasagna or spaghetti sauce, any kind of hamburger helper type uh, meals. You can't use it to make patties once you cooked it, and you'll see why once we get into it. But I like making a big batch of this stuff and using it along and along through the, through the year. We're going to use about five pounds of, of ground beef, and you'll be surprised how small this is going to get. So all you need to do is cook it, you know, brown it up just like normal. We'll zoom in here so you can see. We're just going to brown this up. And then once it's brown, we're going to drain the fat off of it, rinse it in a colander to make sure all the fat gets off because the fat's what makes it go bad if it makes it rancid. And then we're going to cook it again to drive off all the excess moisture. Then we're going to put it in a dehydrator at about 160 degrees for about 8 hours or so. Once all that's done, we'll can it up and we'll show you what it looks like. So we'll come back after all this is cooked. Okay, so we browned it and this mason jar here shows you about how much fat that we pulled off. You know, just draining, there's still a lot more in there. Uh, we saved that because I plan on making soap at some particular port time. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to drain this off into a colander. And once we get all this in the colander, then what we're going to do is rinse this off. Now once it's rinsed off, We'll put it back and drive out and recook it to drive out any water. All right, you can uh, see some of the steam, and here's some of that cooking off. And as I'm doing this, I'm making sure to break this up into small little, uh, you know, pieces of ground. I don't want any chunks. That's just probably a matter of preference. I know a lot of guys might put a little bit of seasoning in this, and I don't, and I don't because I plan on um, using this for, you know, ground beef for tacos, Italian, Mexican, you know, uh, different stuff, and so I don't want to have to worry about competing flavors, so I just leave it pretty, uh, pretty uh, plain. And you don't, I guess, necessarily have to do this step of burning off the uh, the water, the rinse water. But I do it because it keeps, it makes it easier to dehydrate. Okay. So take that steam off, and then. We're going to put it into our dehydrator with the screens because it's going to get pretty small. And if I put it just on the regular grates, it would fall through the grates. A tip, I guess, would be if you have a uh, solid plastic uh, fruit leather uh, sheet 
put that in your bottom one, but you don't necessarily have to do that. So let's uh, finish this up and then we'll put it in the dehydrator and let you see what that looks like. Yeah, okay, put about four scoops or so on there. Don't want to make it too thick, basically a little single layer. Scoop it out and then uh, spread it out. You don't want to have it on there too thick. Okay, we'll finish this up, turn the dehydrator on, and then come back in about eight hours or so, even though about halfway through, before I go to bed tonight or so, I will uh, come in and check it and maybe flip the screens if needed. So we'll just come back later when this process is done. And let you see what it looks like. Okay, here's our finished hamburger rocks, and they're kind of gritty. What we're going to do is we're going to put them in a mason jar. But since we started with five pounds, we're going to measure and see exactly how much it weighs when we're done. I'm pretty sure it's going to fit in that one pint jar. So on the scale, we've zeroed out the scale, and then we'll fill it up and we'll see what it looks like. Okay, you can see that um, filled up one pint jar or one quart jar and just a little bit left, about a cup or so extra. So we'll say about a pound. So we started with a little over five pounds of ground beef. We ended up with a um, quart jar of fat and a quart jar of hamburger rocks with about a pound of, uh, of the meat after it dehydrated. Now we're just going to vacuum seal it, put the date on it, and, uh, and use it in any recipe that you would use browned ground beef. It works best in stuff like lasagna or casseroles, something that you're going to have a long, slow cooking time where it could rehydrate as you cook it. If you want to use it for stuff like tacos, you should uh, you know, put it in some boiling water and rehydrate it. And you'll just have to figure out for yourself how much water uh, to your meat. Um, it just takes a little bit of experimenting with it. Uh, about one to one is, is about what I use, but it depends on your taste. So, that's all there is to it. And you can read more about it on the blog, or just go on and, and see some of our other projects. We're about to go down and work on our bicycle generator, so we'll see how that comes out a little later. But you can catch us online at www.tngun.com. Thanks.